Uh, Play Studios is an independent game developer. Uh, we create casual social games for all the major mobile platforms and for Facebook as well. Currently we're working on casino-based games uh, for both web and mobile. Um, we try to mirror both web and mobile and uh, we are venturing out into other verticals. But that was so well done. I said that so smoothly. Our, uh, our most popular product that we have right now is called My Vegas, and it's a free-to-play casino-style game. Uh, we're usually uh, one of the top-ranked games in our category on any given day or week. While they're free-to-play and they're casual social games, they allow you to earn uh, loyalty points, which is a real-world currency, and you can then exchange that currency uh, for a whole range of things, uh, free rooms in Las Vegas, show tickets, meals. The, the Caddyshack game uh, was an interesting experience. Uh, we actually uh, got a call from Shaq's manager, uh, who we have a prior relationship with, uh, and it turned out that, that Shaq had somehow discovered our game. He's pretty active on social media and plays a lot of games. He wanted to be part of uh, My Vegas in some way, so we pitched him the Caddyshack amongst other ideas, and um, he absolutely loved the Caddyshack idea. We were actually looking at the technology that we were going to exploit in Shack. We decided we had to come up with a pipeline that would actually work. And since we have really have never done a game similar to this, I did a test to decide which software we were going to use to make this turnaround happen. We tried doing renders in Maya and in Moto. The renders we were doing were actually for the web-based game, which is all PNG or PNG sequences. And our render times in Maya were three minutes and our render times in Moto were 33 seconds per frame. I decided at that time that Moto was going to be the way we were going to do all of our real-time 3D and we were going to use Mari for all of our textures. Um, here's another little tidbit. To do the baking of the models in Maya, it was taking four hours and then when we baked the models in Moto, the textures onto the Moto models, it was 15 seconds. <laughs> I lost my mic. Um, Rather than just create our representation of Shaq, we really wanted to capture all the things about him that were unique. So we've used uh, his voice in the game. One, baby. We did a motion capture session so that the animation that we would uh, create, uh, there's a lot of interstitial segments and moves. And so we wanted that to be a faithful representation of who Shaq is and how he moves and all of his idiosyncrasies. Since our, our team is so small, a lot of our work is done by outside vendors, and most of our outside vendors are Maya-based. So we have developed a standardized rig that we've developed in Moto. We export it out, bring it into Maya, and supply the vendor with a rig to use on their characters. So that way, when they bring give it back to us, we now bring it back into Moto and run a script to reconnect all of the control onto the rig and, and allow us to pose, animate, and, and retarget any mocap data that we have, and everything is then contained within Moto. The game changer for Moto is just speed all the way across the board, texturing, rendering, lighting, surfacing, building, modeling, everything. It's just fast. Moto, Moto. I'm tired. <laughs> I need a spritz. <laughs>